Good evening. My name is Nirvilla Fortune. I am a LAFOR to UNE. I am a city council councilor in Providence, Providence representing Ward 3, and also someone who was raised in the South Side Washington Park neighborhood. The proposed LNG uh, production facility does not conform with applicable goals of the coastal resources management program, such as shipping, commercial fisheries, or port facilities. It locks up this parcel for a minimum of 30 years. Additionally, the proposed alteration does result in significant adverse environmental and cumulative impacts. Environmental impacts include filling of over 10,000 cubic yards of floodplain, increasing tr um, truck traffic and emissions, exposure to contaminated soil during construction, assuring that the site, um, the site will not be fully re um, remediated for a minimum of another 30 years. According to the general census, there are 17,000 people who reside within a one, one mile of the proposed site. And if you include the full census tracts within Washington Park, the number jumps to over 25,000 residents. Approximately 80% are people of color, and 64% are low income. These statistics include members of my own family and friends that I grew up with. Rhode Island's only trauma and hospital complex, including Rhode Island Hasbro, um, Hospital, Hasbro um, Children's Hospital, and Women and Infants, is less than two miles away within the potential evacuation zone of the proposed facility. Providence Community Health Center, Hasbro Medicine, Pediatric Primary Care, and other medical facilities are even closer. Any failure of equipment or structure resulting from storm and damage and natural gas leakage or explosion would place these neighborhoods and populations at immediate and potentially lethal risk. The proposed site of the LNG project is, high hazard, is, is a high hazarded area both because of its own proximity to the floodplain and because of its proximity to other explosive and toxic industrial facilities. The area is in the 91st percentile for the state of diesel air toxin exposure and is considered an asthma hotspot. Adding an additional hazardous facility to an already struggling and underserved neighborhood is unethical. And we, would, and we would be further poisoning some of our most vulnerable residents. In the October 25th report, CRMC staff, in paraphrasing at, um, NGLNG's response to public comment, wrote, the applicant includes, concludes that the project is keeping within the existing infrastructure in the neighborhood, with neighborhood in quotes. This suggests that either CRMC staff or National Grid are calling into question or even mocking the idea that people who live near the proposed site are or might be affected by seeing the facility. But people do live within view and of close proximity of the proposed site, and the fact that their neighborhood already has non-scenic components is not a sufficient reason to make it less scenic and most importantly, more, uh, more hazardous. your family in close proximity to a hazardous site? Would you enjoy breathing toxic air on a daily basis? Would you expose your children to that type of adverse environment? Many of the residents who live in close proximity to the proposed LNG site do not have a choice. I am not an environmentalist, but what I do know is that I would not choose to expose my children and my community to, to such environment. So, no LNG in PVD, and I urge the parents to reject.